With the release of the new permanent port location, we also got a new vehicle to build, the boat. And the boat is no different from the ATV and the chopper in that it requires a good bit of time to build, but it is significantly easier than the ATV, and I would really recommend prioritizing it over finishing that up. Now, as you can see, the boat requires some new specific materials, but also some older, rarer ones. And we're going to go over how to get those materials efficiently in this video. The two ways to get the materials are by opening the sunken boxes at the port and by clearing the sewer. I would rate the sewer as being around the same difficulty level as Bunker Alpha, and it does get noticeably more difficult if you go to the second floor, which you can do twice each sewer run. And the sewer resets every two days, and I would definitely recommend clearing it every two days so you can get the boat as quickly as possible. Now, you will need some uh, higher tier weapons when you are clearing the sewer. That's not to say you need fully modded guns, but they will definitely help. Because you do go up against some tough enemies like you just saw there with that fetid corpse. Uh, you can also get rush a good bit on the second level, so it's always good to bring a gun or stash your valuables on the first level before you go to the second. And as you can see here, you actually get some really good rewards from clearing the sewer. Like uh, wrenches and air filters are definitely needed for the boat. I've included two screens of my sewer runs that I completed, and as you can see, the rewards are pretty good, ranging from acid to boxes, air filters, wrenches, plates, all the stuff that you're going to need for the boat. Now, the other way that you can get valuable boat materials is by opening up the sunken box. Now, here's a bit of a kicker about the sunken box. You are going to need a completed acid bath to clear it off to open it. And I had to complete my acid bath just for this update because previously, the only reason you really needed it was for infected boxes. And I've been scrolling through my first three sunken crates there, but my fourth one was actually really good because your reputation with the delivery system directly impacts the loot that you're going to get in your sunken boxes. So later on, as you level up your reputation, you will get better loot. That's an important uh, point to recognize. Now, as far as fiberglass, which you are going to find a good bit of in these boxes, it is not cheap as it requires five glass and five bauxite. So those boxes are definitely worth opening, and you can do that by getting crane keys from Mr. Jake over here. Now, you aren't going to be getting crane keys for every level, but quite a few of them are going to give you keys, and those are the most helpful option when you're progressing your boat. I would definitely not neglect this delivery option, as it is a very important step in the process of getting your boat. And this delivery board resets every 24 hours, and I would definitely recommend prioritizing the seasonal boxes as they will give season pass progress and also reputation progress as well. Now, as you can see there, I used a little locker area off to the left to store all of my packaging materials, and that is a good idea as it won't have you running back and forth as much because uh, you can just store the materials right next to the packing tables. Now, here's the thing about delivering boxes. You get diminishing returns for each of the additional boxes that you add to the queue as you get the most for your money if you are just using the first box. So if you are rushing to get the boat as fast as possible, I would fill up the queues as much as you can, depending on your level. And I would definitely recommend using insurance and the high value packages as well if you have the coins. The insurance is a must, I would say, because it allows you to take more riskier delivery options, which can lead to more reputation and rarer items that you can get during the delivery. As you can see there, I actually got a carbon composite for essentially two coins. It's also important to realize that boxes aren't really worth using rare materials on. That one box that uses a wrench is not worth crafting as wrenches are going to be really needed for finishing up the boat as the boat requires you to craft two boat engines which combined will take 20 of your wrenches. And you're also going to need a lot of these other materials to finish off your acid bath if you haven't done that yet. I would recommend supplementing the sewer runs and the sunken boxes with bunker alpha runs as these will give you materials that are also relevant for completing your boat and it's just a good idea to in general complete bunker alpha every two days as well. So that'll do it for our boat supply overview and hopefully it gave you a bit of a roadmap for how to get the boat built as quickly as possible. And I really appreciate you staying around for this video. And if you're interested in more informational Last Day on Earth videos, check out my LDOE log playlist, which has over 20 informational videos in it now. And as always, thanks again for watching and have yourself a great day.
Thank you.